so hello friends welcome back to the channel today in this video i'm going to review the corvus os version 4.1 eclipse for realme 605 devices that includes realme 6 6i realme 7 narzo 20 pro and narzo 30 4g so today in this video i'm going to give you a full overview of this rom i will talk about the battery backup the smoothness the overall experience and the gaming performance so this rom is suggested by this guy so thank you bro for suggesting me this rom so talking about the first look the rom is based on android 12 l which looks pretty cool so when you hold in the home screen you can see the pixel launcher is used and you get the typical home settings here you get access to the icon size font size app draw opacity recent opacity row height and some extra options like toggle app draw search bar use taskbar etc and in widget you get all the android 12 l widgets and in the android 12 l the clock widget looks like this and i like this one the most and when you click on the clock you get extra options so i like this one the most now talking about the themed icons in wallpaper and style if i go to themed icons if i turn it on and you can see it is still on beta i don't know when it will be stable and you have also a an option to change the app grid you can choose 2 is to 2 all the way up to 6 into 10 so in the themed icon you can see the themed icon is applied to all the app except this excel file and if i remove it nothing happens so the themed icon is not working in the app drawer i don't know why but when i install this rom it was working perfectly fine you can see when I install this ROM, this was the default wallpaper which is set to home screen and you can see in the app drawer also we get the themed icons. So I don't know why it is not working in the app drawer, maybe it, it's because of the wallpaper but it looks cool when the themed icon is applied to the app drawer and talking about the quick setting panel, the quick setting panel is sometimes little bit laggy but it's working smooth right now and if I go to edit, we get these options like we get the dedicated wi-fi and mobile data then we have the vpn aod the cpu info the audio mode and sound search and we also have the compass and if we add the corvus gen i actually did not test and click on it it opens something like this you can see the app is pinned and it says allow so i think this is the AOD of Corvus OS and it's quite cool you can see so to disable it you have to click on disable gen mode and unlock the phone then we have the realme direct and the refresh rate switcher but in android 12 l you cannot switch back to 90 hertz after switching to 60 hertz now let's get to the about section so in the about section in the network and internet we get dedicated private dns we have cloud player ad guard automatic and private dns where we have to enter the dns provider then in the battery you can see 8% of battery is remaining because I just wanted to show you the battery usage so if I go to the battery usage you can see the screen on time is 3 hours 5 minutes which is very less and I am using it from today morning around 7.30 am and after 50% you can see the battery drop too soon because then I tested the CPU throttling I will show the results later in this video now talking about the active drain in normal usage in normal usage you can see the active drain is 17% and the idle drain is 2.33% which is very high than other roms and here i took another screenshot here also you can see the active drain is 18.63 percent which is much higher than other roms and the idle drain is 2.4 percent so the battery backup in this rom is just worse i will say because as i said we get only four hours of screen on time which is the worst you can expect but i did not test it the gaming performance in this rom so i will test it so the battery backup of this rom is not good at all you get maximum four to five hours of screen on time but yes if you are not using your phone you can set the zen mode to save the battery or there is many ways to save battery if you want a dedicated video how to save battery on any rom then do let me know in the comment section i will make a separate video on that topic so for battery backup i will rate this 4 out of 10 because the battery backup is worse then in battery section we get battery manager and battery optimization and one thing you may notice in the settings ui the font is different and i will mention the font is not different it all stock it's because i use the evolve sans font in all rooms that's why the font is already set to evolve sans from the 
Google Drive backup. Now in the display, here is night light which is not flickering because this is realme UI 2.0 based room and in minimum refresh rate we can set to 45 hertz and here is live to wake and tap to wake but this does not work and we can disable the blur i'm talking about this blur i have already talked about wallpaper and style in security we get fingerprint and face unlock both are working fine but the fingerprint is quite delayed you can see the response is quite slow now in the system we have the pen hub in the pen hub we get performance profile which is working perfectly fine in the performance we get much better performance than balance or power save then we have the cabc mode and refresh rate switcher now in the fps overlay this is working fine you can see the current fps right here so it works and in the pen hub and other information you can see the details about the maintainer so this rom is built by pain so thank you pain for making this build for realme 6785 devices and in system just like other roms you get the multiple users option now finally let's get to the corvus settings which is the customization center of this rom so in the first tile we get the game space in the game space we get these options like disable heads up block full screen event like when you are gaming the call will not come to full screen or any pop-up will not come in full screen then we have disable usb debugging etc now in library you can add the games like pgmi call of duty etc and you can also add other apps like cpu throttling test or any other app where you want to test the game mode in the theming we get custom color in the monet then we get white luminance coma factor etc then we have headline or body font here you can choose any of these custom fonts and we also get the nothing os font you can see when i choose it the system ui restarts and all the font changes to nothing os font you can see it looks cool if i open telegram you can see here also the font is changed to nothing was font so this looks cool but still i like the evolve sense then we have the signal icon style wi-fi icon style the icon shape the dashboard icon style etc and in the lock screen it shows the current charging speed here you can see now in status bar we get the traffic indicators which is not working in the status bar but it's working in the expanded header then in the clock and date settings we get some customizations then in status bar items we can customize what to show in the status bar like you can disable the alarm you can see then you can also hide other things then you can also customize the bolty icon style you can see it's right now on this style and if i change the if i change the value it's changed to this style if i change it back again you can see it's changing likewise you can also change the bho wi-fi icon but the bho wi-fi does not work in realme UI 2.0 based android 12 or android 13 roms then we have 4g icon and small mobile type icon and roaming indicator combined signal icons etc then we have this option by which we can double tap on the status bar to turn off the screen then in the quick settings we have the brightness slider the auto brightness icon and the qs panel style so you can change them between these styles and it does not require system ui restart you can just try and apply them then we have the qs column in portrait qs vertical layout qs weather here we have set up weather options here we can edit the location etc then in the lock screen we have the lock screen charging info which is quite accurate then in the battery we have the battery animation the charging animation the battery estimates the battery style we have these options in the battery style then the battery percent in notification we have the heads up notification access and in the stop list you can add any apps from which you don't want the heads up notification then in the buttons and nav bar we have the music control reorient keyboard cursor control etc and we have an option to toggle torch when screen is off which is working perfectly fine you can see so these are for the corvus settings now talking about the default camera application we have this gcam in this room which i think the gcam which i if i go to the about you can see it's gcam which i version 1.5 and the recent style looks like this here we get the kill switch then clear all button the screenshot and google lens talking about the key lap button 
you can see here i started the franco kernel manager and it will start the battery monitor here you can see it started the battery monitor and when i close the app from this option you can see it four stops the application and the battery monitor just disappeared so this is for the overview now in all the videos i forget to uh, rate the rom so for customization i will rate this rom 8 or 8.5 for smoothness i will rate this rom 4 because the ui is too much laggy and the 90 hertz barely feels in the ui although it's set to 90 hertz you can see in the all app list the screen is refreshing at 60 hertz but in the quick setting panel it's sometimes working at 90 hertz so there is some issue with the refresh rate in the overall ui but you can see the app opening and closing speed is good enough but the RAM management is not that good in the 4GB RAM variant and you can see I started the battery monitor and it's still 17.59% Talking about the performance, when I used the performance profile in the realme settings, let me show you When I used the performance profile in the pain hub, here you can see we have the performance Then we get this much performance you can see the graph is pretty much stable but the big cluster frequency fluctuates but still you can see the performance is good we get 89% CPU throttled of its maximum performance now when we used the performance profile with the performance script I got this much performance you can see there was no CPU thermal throttling so we get the 100% performance so this is the performance that we get in the room and here is another thing that i forget to forgot to talk about is in the miscellaneous we get unlimited google photo storage and unlock higher fps in games which is not actually working but the unlimited google photo storage is working you can see here this pixel can back up unlimited photos that means it works so without further delay let's get to the gaming test so friends i am in the bgmi and let's talk about the game mode in the game space we get the settings and it looks cool you can see it shows the RAM usage, the temperature, the time and the battery percentage and now playing. So currently I am on BGMI so it's showing BGMI. And we get the mode here we have standard performance and battery. Then we can disable the heads up right from here. Then we can turn on the FPS info which will show the FPS if we close the tile. But I am using the cave mark which has the good position in the screen but still let's keep it. And let me show you that currently I am using the performance mode. If I go to pain hub you can see the performance profile is set to performance and the CMBC mode is turned off. So let's see by playing an arena training. And make sure to notice the current frame rate. And you can see the frame rate is around 40 fps. I think we have some issue the save file so currently the frame rate is set to 60 fps but still we are not getting more than 40 So the frame rate is hovering around 30 fps which is not playable so let's try the performance script and after using the performance script you can see the frame rate changed to 56 and 59 fps so you can see after using the script we can at least play the game so it's mandatory to use the performance script with using the inbuilt game mode you cannot play the bgmi but still it's enough for playing call of duty so you can see the frame rate is not dropping more than 55 
so this is it for the gaming review now if i want to rate the corvus os for gaming i will rate maximum 7 not more than that because with the inbuilt performance mode we only get around 45 to 50 maximum i am talking about the maximum fps that we get so if you want gaming you must use the performance script for that you have to root etc etc so this is it for the review of corpus os version 4.1 for realme 6185 devices if you found this video helpful make sure to do subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon i will see you in the next video bye bye all the way up to 6 is to 3 6 is to perfectly fine and but it looks cool when it's when it's a evolve sense jaldi kar bhai kal se apna will nikalna hai